finish his fifth here today to help Great Oak to another team championship here. Um, this seems to be almost a rite of passage for you guys to have team success here at Mount Sac. Um, if you could just sort of take us through the mindset of the team. Um, obviously, the goals extend not only into late November, but early December as well. And these races are used more as preparation for that time. How did you guys feel out there today and what was the game plan going in? Yeah, um, so obviously we just came off a great win at Clovis. So um, kind of after that, the team really we got that confidence and reassuring, reassuring ourselves that, you know, we're, we're going to be able to compete at the end of the season, basically. Um, so coming into Mount Sac today, we were kind of just, let's do that again. Let's, you know, get out there, get through the race. Um, basically just push ourselves, not to put too much pressure on ourselves about the teams here. Um, there's definitely a bit of competitive teams here. Um, but we were pretty confident, you know, go in, get the job done, and then we'll go home and train again. Um, so after this race, we're kind of, now our mindset's really on CIF and um, State and NXN. So yeah, this is probably just, um, just a race to get the legs shaking out before we go and hit some hard training for the next couple of weeks. But um, yeah. You talked about the preparation for this, and a lot of teams come here with the mindset of, man, we really want to do well. This is our highlight. Of the, it could be of the season. Great Oak, the mentality obviously different. This is just preparation, one step for many steps to come. Just talk a little bit about what it's like to compete year in and year out with that mindset that even races like this, which a lot of people consider super important for you guys, is more of a, a step to get to a larger goal. Yeah, um, so it's definitely different, you know, coming from a different program for my freshman year. Um, I definitely see the whole environment um, around the team is totally different. Our mindsets are very, um, you know, straightforward and, you know, we've been trained and Souls teaches us no fear going into races, you know. Um, it's just another race, that's what we tell ourselves, even when we get to the more competitive ones, you know, it's just another race. We've done this so many times this season. Um, so yeah, we're just kind of taught. We're taught to be prepared. Um, the best way to come into a race is knowing you've done the work and knowing that you could totally come out on top. So we come in with no fear and it's kind of just um, another race. From an individual standpoint, I know last track season didn't go the way you wanted it to. And so obviously when you go into a summer, the number one goal is making sure I'm healthy, making sure I'm ready to go for the fall time. Just take us a little bit through the preparation for you with obviously a lot of attention being on what you've done individually and being a part of a team to get ready for this season here. Yeah, um, you know, I'm just grateful to be running again. Um, it's definitely hard. I'm not going to say it's easy. I'm sure anybody who's had an injury and coming back, it's definitely not the easiest thing to do. Um, you know, but it's all in the mentality. You know, I missed that track season and uh, a lot of people won't realize how much that can affect you in your cross. You know, I basically had, you know, up to three years behind me coming into this, but missing that one season was kind of like my base going into, you know, cross season. And I'm missing that whole competitive atmosphere for half a year. So it's definitely um, hard, but I'm super optimistic about it. You know, um, I can't say that this cross season has gone exactly the way that I planned or wanted it to, but I'm sure I'm going to be back uh, crushing it in no time. Um, you know, definitely by the time I finish senior year, I'm definitely going to be proud of some of the races that I do, whether it's here or whether it's track. Um, you know, but um, people are going to talk and. You know, I can't let it get to me. It's kind of just, um, I know myself and I know my work ethic, so that's definitely um, part of it. You know, I'm just optimistic about it. And then finally, obviously, again, this is a step to a larger goal for you and your team. Um, you've been a part of some special teams at Great Oak. Where would you say the mentality and the focus of this team is compared to some of the other ones? And, and where do you think this team can go to as we get later into the more important part of the season? Yeah, um, so this team, I would say is completely different than last year's team. Um, we have a lot of the same girls, but last year we were missing that depth, you know. Um, we didn't have that five, six, seven. This year we have three really great freshmen. Um, one of them wasn't able to run today, but we have that depth now. So I think we're just overall more confident in ourselves because um, we have somebody to back us up. You know, before it was like, hey, if our one, two, three, four don't have a great race, we have nobody to come in and take care of the team, you know what I mean? So it was a lot more pressure, um, and it was harder to compete because nobody could mess up. So it's kind of, we have that backup with us, and that's super nice and um, convenient, but I think that totally changes the mindset, you know? And I think by the end of the season, we're definitely going to be competing. Um, I think Great Oak's always in the mix, but, um, you know, I think Nationals is going to go really well compared to the last two years. Um, we're just, this team's more experienced, you know? Um, so yeah, but. 
Well, a fantastic individual effort for Great Oak senior Tori Gaetan. Finishes sixth here today in the Division One and Two sweepstakes. Helps lead Great Oak to yet another championship here. It's the sixth year in a row that they've won duo on boy, both boys and the girls' side. So congratulations again, and we wish you the best of health and luck the rest of the season.